girl be Her eyes are open wide And yet she's in a daydream <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had different kinds of birds like this at home? Ouch! But all we've got at home is a boring old fish pond. Oh, oh, she's impossible. <laughs> Alice, the reason we've got a boring fish pond is because you insisted on having one. Yes, Mummy, but that's no reason for not also having ducks and geese and swans. Mm. <gasps> oh! Now, don't start thinking about bringing any new creatures home. We've already got too many. I've been bitten by a goose, chased once by a swan, and what's more, I don't like ducks. Huh? Oh, how sweet! And what's the matter with you? I'm fed up with everything. So there. But why? Because of all those feathered idiots swimming around on that pond over there. Especially the flamingos. Look at the two of them, how conceited they are. But why should they be conceited? They're just standing mm. there and thinking. Flamingos spend huh? a lot of time thinking. Those ones aren't thinking. They're showing off, those silly beaks. Ha! And what about their habit of balancing on one leg all day? You think that isn't showing off? Ouch! <laughs> there, you see? They're laughing at me. They're making fun of a poor little duckling. I'm not surprised they laughed. You should have seen how funny you look. How can you say that, Benny Bunny? You ought to be ashamed. <gasps> oh, keep quiet. <gasps> Oh. oh, yes, it is true. It yes, isn't. it is. No. Yes, it is. No. Yes. No, yes, no, yes, my yes, little no, chickens, no. that's enough. What do you mean, my little chicken? I'm a fighting cockerel. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have recognised that at once. That's all right. I'll forgive you, but I won't forgive that little rabbit. Benny didn't mean anything. I don't care whether he meant anything or not. Anyway, I'm going. I've had enough of this place. I think I'll join a flock of wild geese and fly away forever. Fly like this. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> she wanted to fly like a grown-up. <laughs> Last time I tried to fly, exactly the same thing happened. But it doesn't matter. If I can't fly, I'll walk. <laughs> Oh, dear, Alice, I wonder what happened to her the last time she tried to walk somewhere. Make sure she doesn't hear you. Please don't walk so fast. Wait a moment. I want to say something. You know, Wonderland is an enormous place. You're not forced to stay with anybody you don't like. You don't understand. You see, I've already tried everywhere and nobody wants me. Oh. Yes, wherever I go, people make fun of me. Nobody likes me or wants me because I'm not any good at anything. I can't swim well and I can't fly and I can't even walk properly. Oh, little duckling, that's not serious. All those things can be learned. Why don't you ask the other birds to teach you? If you like, I'll ask them for you myself. Come on. Uh, I'm Alice. Hello. I've got a little duckling here who has a bit of difficulty with swimming and flying, and I wonder if you can help her. I'm going to send her over to you, and I'd like you to be nice to her. Would you? You see, that was easy. Nobody laughed at you, and nobody was unpleasant. <laughs> the swans! We won't have any ducks here. We've already told you that. 
Are you still here? I thought we told you to leave long ago. Yes, well, I, um... Well, you see, it's like this. And don't you try telling us that story about the ugly duckling again. Never will you ever become a swan. For the rest of your life, you will be an ugly duckling. All right, I understand. I'm going. Didn't you want to join the wild ducks? <gasps> Off you go! <gasps> Once I'm big and strong, you'll see. You'll be sorry for all those nasty things you said. <gasps> well done. <laughs> oh, how can you behave so badly to this poor duckling? <clears throat> Life can be hard sometimes. We live by the law of the wild. Eat or be eaten. Mm. <gasps> poor little duckling. Everything you said was true. Come. How could you do that to her? You should be ashamed. I've never seen such bad behaviour in my life. We don't like the way she looks. She isn't elegant enough. Her neck is as short as her legs, and as for her beak, it's plumpian. And her feathers aren't even white. She has absolutely nothing. She hasn't even got muscles like me. And neither can she carry everybody's babies like I do. Oh, I'm beginning to understand why she wants to leave Wonderland. Keep your chin up, little duck. There's no reason to be sad anymore. You've got us now. She's got good reason to be sad, Alice. You should have heard all the nasty things I had to say I'm about I'm not her. interested in hearing any of them. <sighs> oh, oh, my! What a lovely little pond. It's exactly right for you. Come along. <laughs> there. <laughs> You'll be happy here. <laughs> The water's just the right temperature, too. She'll be able to live happily here. No one will bother her. Well, I hope so, Alice. But... Uh, 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 huh? uh, 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 oh, what's wrong? <laughs> it's a black swan, Benny. They're very rare. I wonder if he's dangerous. <laughs> If you so much as touch this duckling, I will pull every single feather out of your body. Alice! But why should I hurt her? I'm only too pleased to have some company at last. Can I believe that? And you won't laugh at me either? And why should I laugh at you? Do I look like somebody who can't behave himself? No. <laughs> Come closer so I don't have to shout. You were lucky to find me, little duckling. You'll be happy here. You'll always have plenty to eat. Duckling, look after yourself. It was nice getting to know you. Good luck. It feels so good to have helped someone. Mm. I only hope we really have helped her. Oh? And what do you mean by that? Alice, as if I had to remind you, you knew perfectly well that all these beautiful ponds belong to the Queen of Hearts. Oh! Oh! Yes, I suppose you're right, but that doesn't mean anything. Perhaps, but what I think it means is we mustn't let that duckling out of our sight for one second. You're absolutely right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Watch out! Watch out? Why? You want to know why? You were about to stand on my playing card and you want to know yes, why? Yes, but I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't see you. Uh, of course not, silly. You weren't supposed to see us. What's going on? I don't understand. That's a stupid question. Can't you see we're hiding? Is that how you spend your free time? Oh, you stupid girl. We've been ordered to shoot ducks. What? Uh... You mean you're hunting innocent, harmless little ducks? Mm-hmm. Fire! <gasps> I cannot believe you're using cannon to shoot the ducks. Well, we've got to use something to get them down from the sky. We can't go up after them, can we? Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? Have the ducks ever harmed you in any way? Orders are orders. The Queen of Hearts would like some duck soup. Duck soup? Oh, oh how awful! Oh, my poor little ugly duckling. I harmed you more than I helped you. I told you so. You always know better, don't you? Oh! Do you have a castle permit? No entry without a permit. 
It's important. Let me in. Orders are orders. And anyone who doesn't obey them gets locked up. Good day. Look. Why do you look so worried? Oh, I'm so happy that you're here, Black Swan. I have to speak to the little duckling immediately. Do you know where I can find her, please? She's in the kitchen. She's in a little cage all of her own. They're feeding her very well. You mean she's locked up? Not locked up. Those are ugly words. She asked if she could have her own nest, and that's what she's been given. She's being looked after by the queen herself. Oh! Well, if you want to prepare a really good duck soup, you have to do it with a duck that's not too thin. <laughs> I entrusted that poor little thing to your care because I thought that you liked her. <laughs> oh, I like her very much. I like my own neck better. In this life, you have to be clever if you want to survive. If I hadn't done what I did, there would have been black swan soup on the menu tonight. Ah, 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 ah. What? And you've left her there? You can talk. You're to blame for all this. The poor little duckling's a prisoner, and if we don't do something about it, she's soon going to be duck soup. Shame poor thing. You. I do feel sorry for her. I really do. We really didn't want this to happen. If we're quick about it, I think we'll still be able to help her. I only wish I knew how we could get past the castle guards. You must think of something. It's getting late. The wild ducks are flying in. We must hurry. Yes. That's exactly what happened. And now I really would appreciate some advice. Mm. I, uh, I wouldn't want to rush you, but we don't have very much time. Mm. I can't remember a time. <laughs> When you haven't been in a tremendous hurry when you've come to visit me, dear child. <laughs> Can you believe it? Even in Wonderland, they've got pollution now. We'll have to fly higher. Next year, we'll have to migrate somewhere else. Stop! Oh! <laughs> what on earth's going on here? Any ideas, anyone? Hmm, looks like a signal of some kind or other. Please come down here, ducks. We need you to help us urgently. It looks as if they've heard us. Yes, it does. <sighs> well, now, what's your problem? I've been sucking and puffing too long. That's my problem. Ah. Oh, the poor caterpillar is sick. Will you kindly explain to me what's going on? We're on our annual migration, and I certainly hope you haven't brought us down here for nothing. Captain, we're falling behind on our schedule. It's time we left. You mustn't fly any further. Your lives are in great danger. The Queen of Hearts has ordered all wild ducks to be shot down. Do you know what she's got on the menu for tonight? Duck soup! Now, there's a great honour. We're on the menu of the Queen of Hearts. We know all about that. She tries to do it to us every year, but we're far too clever for her, and I fear she'll never get her duck soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine for you to be laughing, but there's one little duck who can't laugh. The Queen of Hearts has caught a little duckling, and it's in the castle kitchen now where she's preparing it for supper. Impossible. She couldn't catch one of us. But she has. And it's all my fault. I can't bear to think what might happen. It was also my fault, and if you want to blame Alice for it, then you must blame me too. But first of all, we must set her free. Ah. I would gladly offer up my life for that little duckling. We can't possibly leave her there to suffer. What do you say to a little detour? I know it will upset our schedule, but on the other hand, it will mean saving the life of one of our colleagues. Yes! 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 It's none of my business, really, Captain, and I shouldn't ask. Attack! But what exactly shall we do? All I can say at this stage, my friends, is that we have a very difficult task before us. However, one thing is absolutely clear. A little duck's life is in danger, and we shall not abandon her. Yeah! Yeah! We are going to her rescue. Hip, hip, hooray! We'll fight together! Yay! You're wonderful! Excuse me, but Benny, Bunny and I have often been in the castle before, so if you like, we can help you. But how? Please, dear Caterpillar, we have one tiny request. Just about as tiny as we would like ourselves to become. 
<sighs> yes, I can imagine. Hmm. It's always one tiny request and then another and then another and then another. So break a piece off my mushroom and take a bite or two until you're the size you want to be. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't be surprised. This is Wonderland. Anything oh, can happen yes. here. Are you ready to leave? Yes, we're ready. Mm. <clears throat> Hold tight now. It'll be windy up there. Mm-hmm. Away! That's right, little duckling. Eat as much as you possibly can. You're very generous, Your Majesty, and I'm grateful. But if I keep on eating like this, I won't have any room left for the duck soup. <laughs> what a very funny joke. You should be the king's joker. <laughs> oh, oh. What do you think that was, Your Majesty? Don't worry your little head. I'll take care of everything. You just eat as much as you can and enjoy yourself. All right. Oh, Your Majesty. Someone's shooting something. Just look at them down there, Alice. They think we can't see them from up here, but their red hats stand out just like a field of poppies. Fire! Whoa! As long as they think we can't see them down there, we're completely safe from them. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Here they are! Right! Fire! And fire! Uh -oh. That banging is beginning to annoy me. Well, well duck, duck shooting, shooting is always noisy, but we don't mind. But of course I forgot it's the duck shoot. <laughs> oh, what a... oh, 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 oh. This is the first time I've ever been served flying duck soup. I wonder how you're supposed to eat it. This is a joke. It looks as if we're going to have to catch our own dinner. I don't think this is very funny. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you're sitting in the middle of my soup plate. Stand up at once. Oh, what are you not saying about? There isn't any oh, soup in it yet. The Queen of Hearts said it would be hours before the soup is ready. Oh. Did you hear that? If Tweedledum's right, then we're still in time to save the little duckling. One large onion and a pinch of pepper. I'll decide how much pepper. Close your eyes and sleep. When you've had a good feed, it's nice to have a good sleep. <clears throat> Do the two of you realise that our guests have been sitting waiting at the table for five hours already? I told them they should only come tomorrow. Hmm, two cups of milk. And one more pinch of pepper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't you think you're using a little too much? It says one pinch only. <coughs> a soup. A soup. A, a soup. <coughs> I think it's about time to throw that stupid duck into the soup. Hmm? What duck? What do you mean, duck? I've been reading out the recipe for traditional French pepper soup. What did you say? <gasps> <gasps> what stupid idiot ordered the duck to be delivered alive? There's the little duckling. In that on the kitchen table. It's Alice! Catch her! That girl is a troublemaker. Where is my guard? Call out my soldiers! Oh! Was that a cannonball? Yes! Oh. Your Majesty, our orders are to pursue the ducks into the castle and shoot them down. Fire! Ah! Get out at once! I won't have any cannon in my Well, I don't care. The King of Hearts has promised me a new kitchen for years, and now's the time to build it. <laughs> Hello there. Mm. Don't be frightened, little duckling. We're here to help you. Thank you, Alice. 
I don't understand what's going on, but whatever it is, it isn't good. We'll explain it all later. Now we must go. <laughs> May I introduce you? This is the little duckling, and this is the leader of the wild ducks. How do you do? Well, thanks. Alice, we don't have time for all this. Look behind you. Oh, good gracious. Follow me then, duckling. Can you fly Duck at all? Captain! Not a very good yes. fly yet, but ah. I'll try. The duckling oh. can fly, I know. Look, duckling, all your friends from the pond have come to set you free. Coming? Yes. All the duckling needs is a little self-confidence, then she'll be able to fly and she'll be a much better swimmer. I think the flamingo's absolutely right. All you need is some confidence. You're so kind. <laughs> We're off. Oh, thank you, Alice. You've helped me to become a real wild duck and I've made some very good friends. Good luck, duckling. And do look after yourself. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. I want them all in my duck soup. <laughs> Hurry up! Thor! Oh. Alice! <laughs> Oh, they shouldn't have obeyed that last order. Well, everything's for the best. The castle was getting old. I'll build a new one. Ouch! <laughs> Alice? Huh? Oh, Alice. Child, we've been looking all over for you. Where were you? I'm sorry you were worried, but there was something I had to do with the ducks. I've been thinking. The ducks seem to be quite happy with a pond this size, and it would fit very nicely in our garden. Perhaps we could consider building one. Thank you, Daddy. It's nice of you, and I did say that I would like one, but since then I've discovered the ducks would rather be free and wild, not tame. Well, let me know if you change your mind. <coughs> In our next episode, we would like to tell you what Alice thinks about volcanoes and hot springs and doing the weekly wash. No sooner does she arrive in Wonderland than she discovers that all the Wonderlanders have a great deal of washing to do, which makes her think that Wonderland is not so different from her own home because washing is the order of the day there too. At least Mrs. Pepperpot has hot water though. In Wonderland, even the Queen of Hearts makes do with cold. Alice makes the mistake of mentioning this and immediately regrets it. For what does the Queen of Hearts order her to do? Nothing less than finding a way to heat the water in the stream, where everyone does their washing. But we'll tell you all about that next time. Who can that girl be? Her eyes are open wide. And yet she's in a daydream